Christ. Yeah, I'm powered up. I'm, I'm powered up. I'm charged up. I'm charged up. I'm electrified. I'm electrified. And I'm fired up. I'm fired up. And ready to go. And I'm ready to go. Say, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No matter what. No say, matter thank what. You, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a powerful, powerful mind that was. Now your oil pour down on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right up in this place. Yes, yeah, so good. And then Shanika did awesome. His wife came mm. with an awesome praise and worship. Yeah, Amen. So good. It's not easy learning all these songs by heart. Amen. But this is one of the, these are the tools that God has. Yes. God has tools in each and one of us. He has a gift in each and one of us. Yeah, so amen. And that gift, amen, the enemy is afraid of. He doesn't want you to find out what your gift is. Amen. He amen. doesn't want you to find that out. Amen. Because that no, is also used as a time bomb. Amen. Right. Your gift is powerful than a nuclear weapon. Amen. amen. The gift that God got for you is mm. better than a private jet. Amen. Yes. God got for you. What he got for you is for you. Amen. And it's very powerful. Sometimes we try to look at our neighbor and we say, oh, I, I wish I could sing like him. Man, or I, or I would, the enemy the enemy wants us to be distracted mm -hmm. and looking left and right instead of focusing on what we have mm -hmm. amen that gift mm -hmm. is in you mm -hmm. and so powerful yes, oh someone God. else will love that gift that you have and they will love to run a mile with it amen, yes, amen. God has blessed us with so many yes. gifts amen you see Jay up here Miami that is a powerful gift yes, it to is. learn all those words of the song yes. amen Amen. And, and express it with the power that he had. Amen. Yes, oh God, and then it's to learn all those songs and praise and worship. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. I give honor to God. Amen. Who is the head of our lives. Amen. I thank the Lord Jesus. Amen. And also I thank my wife of 17 years. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. My love wife. She went to surgery. Amen. And she's back here again. Amen. Because God said yes. Amen. amen. When everyone says no, God says yes. That yes. answer is very important right there. Mm -hmm. That's the most important answer. When that when the enemy says no, God says yes. Amen. amen. I'm here to tell you right now, when that job said they don't want to hire you, God got another spot for you. Amen. When I when that when they called you back for that house, amen, amen. God I don't want you to be in that neighborhood. Amen. Sometimes God says no. Mm -hmm. Amen. And sometimes God says wait. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the timing ain't right yet. Your timing is, his timing is perfect. When he said my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither the heavens are, heavens are higher than the earth. My ways are higher than your ways. He's encouraging us right now just to hang tough yeah. and have patience because it's easy to get impatient and make a bad mistake. You end up running into a bad disaster, amen. And God doesn't want you to have that bad disaster, amen. If you want you want that certain job, but God probably don't want you at that job because he know that you may be corrupted. Mm -hmm. He know that you may be hypnotized. God want to keep your mind clear and he wants you to take good care of the vessel that he has for you. I'm here to say thank you, Jesus for the vessel that you have for me. Yeah, yeah, hallelujah. Say thank, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus thank for the you, vessel Jesus. that I have. Say, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say all the time we got to say thank you, yes, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Sometimes we get ungrateful yes. and we start to look at it what our neighbors got, trying to keep up with the Jones. I'm here to tell you right now, it's always good to show Thanksgiving. Yes. It's always good to show Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about in our lesson. Last week, lesson, we talked about true humility. True humility, we talked about more about humility, about fishing, amen. Mm. Peter that mastered a gift for his whole entire life. He mastered fishing, amen. And then Jesus got on a boat and told him where to cast it, amen. You got ability that God, ha that you have a mastered, and then someone comes and tells you how to do it, amen. Sometimes people get offended, amen. Amen. When somebody come in the kitchen and tell you how to cook macaroni, and you've been cooking macaroni your whole life, <laughs> you about to tell them to get out the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when, when somebody come and tell you how to cook spaghetti, and you've been cooking spaghetti your whole life. But here it comes Jesus telling Peter how to fish. Amen. Something he done. And Peter found out that he was who was on his boat was the creator of the universe. Yeah. So he knows where the fish was at. Amen. I'm here to tell you right now. It's no it's never never no time to learn. We always learn it. We're students to the rest of our lives. When we get to the point that you don't need to learn something new, it's, it's impossible because the world is evolving at all times. Things are developing at all times. There's something new happening all the time. Yeah. So there's always room to what? Learn. So we're students until we leave this earth. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
And we like to thank our newlyweds. Amen. Amen. For coming. Hey, they're Amen. here today. Mr. and Mrs. O'Shea Jackson. Amen. Amen. Raise your hand. Amen. Amen. Glory. Ain't it a blessing? If y'all yes. have encouraging words. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The gift to them. Talk, tell them. Amen. It's not. It's not always going to be easy, but with, like we say, it's always a learning experience. You start learning new, more and more and more and more things each and every day. Yes. Amen. It's a learning experience. Amen. But always. Keep God in the middle, yes. and He is like the glue to yes. hold us together. Amen. Yes. And He like the glue. Amen. Yes. You may have ups and downs, but yes. I'm telling you, God is like, just like the, we just think of. I like when you know, Tony Evans used a story about the eagle, the eagle, the eagle, and the eagleists, the babies. Amen. They fall up out of the nest, and they fall on down. The eagle tests the baby and see what the baby start to fly, but the baby doesn't fly yet. And doesn't fly yet. And then what happened? The mama eagle comes down and swoop. Picks that eagle up. Baby eagle up. Takes it back to the nest. The, the eagle, baby eagle was not ready yet. But I'm here to tell you right now. When 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 time when things go start falling down, God will come down and swoop. Yeah. And pick you right back up. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, he, he will, will pick you right back up. Won't he do it? Yes, Amen. He will. Yes. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. A lot of us have an example of testimony, amen. So we believe, we truly believe that God would do it because he did it for us. Yeah, there was times that we didn't have nothing. Yeah. It was just, just think back, amen, yeah. and remember on the time that you didn't have nothing, the time that you didn't have food in your refrigerator, the time when you didn't have a home to go to. Yeah. Just remember those days, amen, and God came down and what? He swooped. And picked you right back up. Amen. And just like you never even fell down. But he doesn't want us to remember. Oh, he doesn't want us to forget. He always wants us to do what? Remember. Because sometimes do we, we, it's easy for us to forget. We start getting complacent. Amen. And we forget how far the, the fire of the Lord has brought us on. And how, how you rescued us. Yeah. Our, see, the, the Lord wants you to talk about him. He wants you to brag on him. Amen. He wants you to tell other folks about the goodness, the greatness, the awesomeness that he has for us. Today we're talking about living as God's people. Today is talking about living as God's people. If you have a Bible app, it's good to get some Bible apps and download them on, on your um, phone, King James versions, or I like I like I like King James version. Get a Bible app, Amen. Uh, King James, I like King James. Some people like all this, Amen. We are. We I want you to keep. We gotta keep feeding our spirit. We also gotta keep growing. Amen. Hallelujah. Just like a fireman needs water to put out the fire, police officer needs a a, a, um, a gun to protect. And we as Christians, we need prayer and we need the Word of God. So we need it more than anything. Amen. It Amen. is the. It's the most strongest weapon. This Bible is more stronger than a nuclear bomb. It can protect you. It can guide you. It's your basic instruction before you leave the earth. It is our instructions. What gets us through each and every day. Hallelujah. Living as God's people. Luke 6 and 20. Luke 6 and 20. No, Luke 6 and 27. Amen. Luke 6 and 27. Amen. Shanika, you want to read loud and strong for us? Amen. Luke 6 and 27. This is the writer of Luke. Amen. Yes. But I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you. Amen. Love your enemies. What we're about to be going over is, is a lot of instructions that Jesus was given. Amen. Luke was a physician. Amen. And he's saying it right now. Love your enemies. It's good for you to love. It will make it will help you heal to love. Holding anger against you, your, your, holding anger will only just put you in a, in a cell, a prison in your mind. That person probably don't even know why you upset at them. Amen. You don't put put yourself in a prison in your mind, and it, it, there's no need for that. It will stress you out. So God is telling us the most easiest thing to do is what? Love. We have to love. Jesus stated to this to teach his followers. To live in God's kingdom was a series of four blessings. The first blessings was for those who were poor, which probably include many of the ones those, those are present. So the crowd that Jesus was speaking to, the crowd that Jesus was speaking to, obviously they, had, they, they didn't have a lot of money, but 
it seemed it may seem like Jesus was talking about that kind, but but he had something else in mind. Jesus bless Jesus said, Bless the poor because they know not they cannot place their confidence in themselves, so they can be willing to trust the Lord. So they can be willing to trust the Lord. One thing about when when we don't when we don't have when you don't have nothing, you know that God is gonna take care of us. He's gonna take care of us. Sometimes we get too much stuff and get too much stuff and have and feel like we have no need for God. He doesn't like that. God wants us to always depend on Him, just like the birds. The birds don't have a refrigerator. They don't have a they don't have a bank account. They don't have they don't have a storage area. No, they live each and every day as looking for another meal, and they never know where it's at. So we supposed to depend on God, just like the birds. So he said, if you don't have money, you don't have you don't have this. But he said, still rejoice, because he still rejoice and have confidence that I will take care of you. Do we trust other things more than we trust God? Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Baby Jay, come on up here. Bring a chair. Bring a chair. Yeah, bring a chair. Bring it all the way up here. <laughs> say oh, say yeah. thank you, baby Jay. Come on on there. <laughs> <laughs> come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here. All right, sit the chair right up here. All right. Did y'all see what he just did? Okay, mm -hmm. sit down and do it again. Do it again. You stand up and sit down again. He didn't even turn around and look where he was sitting. Do we depend on this chair to hold us up more than we depend on God? Stand up and sit down again. <laughs> but now, I, but now I, I do. Now I turn around and look because I got stung by a bee. But but now, <laughs> but he looks. He didn't. He didn't bother to look where he was sitting down. This is the, this is what God wants us to do. He wants us to depend on Him. We trust things that was given from man more than we trust God. We trust that our car is gonna um, be with us all the way. We was we drove all the way to Arizona. We was in the deepest desert. We almost trust our car more than we trust God. Mm -hmm. We almost trust the pilot that we've never even seen more than more than we trust God. You don't even know the pilot first name, but you 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 just know that he's gonna get you to that location. We trust him more than we trust God. Is that we we gotta trust God more? We gotta trust God more. You you okay? Thank you. I wanted y'all to use, him to use the example. He sat down without even looking at the chair. May he trust the chair to hold him up. This is how we supposed to trust God. Amen. So the poor in the spirit, he said, blessed, blessed are the poor because they know they cannot have their confidence in themselves. So they, they, they're willing to trust the Lord. This is, you need these kind of things to serve in the kingdom of God. He let the poor in the crowd know he cared for them as they were. It's not for us to judge somebody, put somebody down. We put the care for people just as they are. Amen. Not looking at so and so say, well, he got a criminal record, or no, he he did this and he did that. Who are we to all all of a sudden put the blame on or judge someone? He wants to, you to care for that person just as they were. Jesus cared for the poor just as they are. Come as you are. Hallelujah. Jesus went on to to bless those that were hungry. God does take pity pity on the hunger people throughout the scriptures, but Jesus also talks about spiritual hunger here. This is spiritual reality here. You know, when you go to the store, when you go to the Chinese buffet or any restaurant, when you go to the restaurant, you eat, and then what happens when you eat? You finally get, you start to get sleepy, you start to get tired, some go home. At the mama that cooked a big Thanksgiving dinner, what happens after we day? Y'all blame it on the turkey. We always blame it on the turkey. That turkey can get me sleep. <laughs> mama done cooked so good. We waited all this time, and mama cooked so good. That preparation, the smell, just going through the whole entire house of those yams, that cornbread, the greens, all that the things are just making you starving hungry. But when it came down to the, the food time, you ate it, and then after that, 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 you was full, and then you went to sleep. That's what we do. We went to sleep. This is how the spiritual way is. God wants us to give all our problems to him. Spiritual, feed yourself. Constantly 
feed yourself with the word of God. And then guess what happened? You should rest. Sometimes we feed ourselves with the word of God and we don't rest. But when, when in the physical world, after we ate our big giant dinner, we what? We go to sleep. God wants you to rest. You stressed out about what's, what's going to happen next. You stressed out about something that's going to happen in two years from now. Did you know today is a day that you was worried about a month ago? Did you know today was a day that you was worried about years ago? And look at you, you're all right. We don't stress ourselves out. High blood pressure, diabetes, wore ourselves out, lack of sleep. You know what happened when you lack sleep? Your immune system starts to decrease. So it shows you how important it is for us to rest and give it to the Lord. Give it to the one that do not sleep. He works 24 hours. He's on the job at all times. Sometimes we call ourselves trying to take his job and do his job. Let God be God and do his job. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hunger. It puts the hunger for the Lord and constantly feed our spirit. Amen. Feed our spirit. Spirit. Jesus also pronounced, uh, Jesus also um, said blessings to the ones that weep in life. No matter how much money you have, no matter how rich you are, one thing that we, two things we have in common that we all was born, and the second thing that we have in common that we all gotta leave this earth someday. So he knows that you're gonna have sorrow. He knows that you're gonna weep. We, some of us has a lot of us had lost loved ones, friends, cousins, brothers, mamas, daddies. So many people we have lost. He knows. He knows that you're gonna feel that. No matter how much money you got, you could be the most trillionaire, the richest person in the world. You could be the richest person in the world. You're gonna also feel sour. You're gonna also feel it. You're gonna feel it at all times. And God knows that. So he encourages us. He encourages us, no matter what, that that sorrow will not last forever. Because what? Joy comes in the morning. Say joy comes in the morning. Joy, joy, Say joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Jesus is reminding them that joy will come in the morning. Hallelujah. Jesus also has a blessing. Say, bless are those who are going to be persecuted. We all, there's going to be people that's going to try to put you down because you want to do the right thing. You want to, you want to work here. You want to get a job. They want, and people want to put you down for that. Anytime you try to do great things, expect that you will give somebody that is going to try to bring you down. Someone is always rooting against you. Oh, you uh, rooting against you. You think that they're on your side, but at the same time, they rooting against you. Hallelujah. He will reveal those to you. But you have to keep going. Know that somebody is always going to be on attack. Yes. Constant attack. The enemy is always working day and night. But I guess who else is working day and night? God is. So hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah that hallelujah. he is fighting a battle while you sleep. Hallelujah, why he is fighting a battle when you in the most um, worstest time, he's fighting a battle on your behalf. The days that you are worried about, he already got them taken, taken care of. He here to encourage you right now to keep going, keep moving, and push until something happens. Never look at what's, what other people are saying. Don't get distracted. Stay forward. Keep going. Keep going down that highway. And we're constantly looking at the crowd, how we are going to do well in the game. Hallelujah. The crowd will constantly try to distract you out of jealousy. People would rather see you see you down than see you up. Yeah. Jesus also told them, also, this will be the hardest decision that you will ever make. Mm -mm. Count the cost. Mm -mm. He said, count the cost. For a man will profit the whole world and lose his soul. Yeah. He said, count the cost. No matter what, you may lose things in life. You may lose friends. You may lose, people may not, people you may people may not want to be around you anymore. Family members may not want to be around you no more. Cousins may not want to be around you no more. Friends that you don't grow up with, all of a sudden they say, oh, you you think you're better than me. Jealousy and envy is out here heavy. And you, you got to realize that this is the cost when you want to do something 
great in life. You want to get to that finish line, but other people don't want to go to the finish line. You got to be ready. You got to prepare yourself for those that don't want to go to the finish line. There are those out there that want to get to the finish line without without going down the road. You think you're just going to leap and just jump right there. The thing about sowing and, and weeping, the thing about it, some people are very impatient. I plant this seed in the ground. I like what Toby, Tony Evans was talking about this. We plant the seed in the ground, but we want the watermelon to come tomorrow. He said what? In due seasons. Yes. We, want, we want to automatically leap right straight to the finish line, but we don't know that the road that we have to go down may be a little bumpy, may be a little rocky, but we got to just trust God at all times. Marriage may be a little ro rocky, but you got to trust God. Just like that, 50 years done went by, and you, don't, you, you was worried to get by two years. God will take care of it. God will take care of it. God will make it work. Amen. The road, the road is going to be bumpy. You may have to pull over and pull over some time and adjust things up, fix things up, get a tune-up, get oil changed, put gas in it. Realize that you, when you get to that finish line, it's going to be worth it. Hallelujah. It's going to be wor worth it. You, Matthew 6 and 24 said, no one can serve two masters. Matthew 6 and 24 said, no one can serve two masters. Some are trying to be out there and be over here at the same time. Pleasing the flesh and pleasing the spirit at the same time. Trying to make them both work together. That's impossible. You cannot make the spirit and the flesh work together. The flesh is saying, hey, we, we, we can live in this house together. No. You can't serve two masters. The flesh only wants you to, it only feeds on corruption. It wants nothing but negativity, jealousy, gossip. And hey, you know about so-and-so? Gossip. <laughs> It wants all the bad stuff for it to grow in your house. Amen. So I'm here to, so, but the spirit wants all the spiritual things for it to grow. The spiritual stuff cannot grow on the corrupted things. So the, you have to pick what you're going to sow. Amen. If you put put uh, seeds of watermelon in the ground, expect seed watermelon to come out. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Say, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. thank you, Jesus. No matter what we do in life, we got to expect that God got a plan for us. Amen. And have faith and trust him. Trust him. Amen. And you said, you looking like, well, preacher, that's all said and done. But I don't think that's going to work for me. <laughs> God made me different, preacher. See, God bless you when you become a believer with the word, with the Holy Spirit. Yes. The Holy Spirit is our helper who teaches and reminds us. In John 14 and 26, Jesus told his disciples, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you to remembrance. Yes. Bring you to remembrance Thank of you. all I have said to you. Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit provides wise counsel to Christ's followers. Jesus knew he would be going away, and the, his followers would need the Holy Spirit as a helper and an advocate to remind them of his teaching. We Every once in a while, we need to what? Refocus. Amen. Yes, amen. We have to get charged up. We yeah. have to get tuned up. Amen. Yeah. The Holy Spirit will convict the world of sin. He will let you know that was wrong what you did, Brother Roy. Mm -hmm. You was wrong. You was wrong talking about so-and-so, mm -hmm. Brother Roy. That wasn't good. Mm -hmm. You offended that, Brother. You need to get it right. The Holy Spirit will convict the world of sin. Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will Thank always you, do that. Hallelujah. Thank you, the Holy Spirit dwells in believers and fills them. Amen. Fill my cup until it runneth it's over. over. Yes, Amen. God. Hallelujah. The windows of heaven will pour out unlimited blessings that it will not be enough room to receive Thank it. You, the God. Holy Spirit, Thank amen, is so present in the Thank lives you, of the Jesus. believers. Yes, the Holy God. Spirit is the resource, source of revelation and wisdom and power. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. Say the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Say Thank the Holy you, Jesus. Spirit. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit guides to trust. The, the Holy Spirit guides to all truth, including knowledge of what is to come. Yes. He's letting you know 
He's preparing us for what to come. He is warning us for what's to come. He's letting us know that danger is ahead. Don't go down that road. Don't go down that road at that time of night. He right. will he'll protect you. There's a reason why. Something, you feel it in your soul. You say, there's a reason why I didn't go down that way that day. Mm. And you found out the next week that it was a, also, there was a horrible shooting. Yes. And it, the Lord has guided you and protected yes. you Thank from you going God. down that road. Thank you, God. He, provided, he protected Thank you, you from not going to that car. Yes. He tell you there's a mugger that's right there. Yes. The Holy Spirit will protect you. The yes, Holy Spirit God. gives spiritual gifts to Thank believers. You, Jay was up here miming. Amen. Believe that the gift that you got is a tool, amen, to help the kingdom grow. The Holy Spirit is a seal in all, all believers' lives. Amen. Hallelujah. So say, say, thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit. Thank, thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hallelujah. The thank Holy Spirit you, helps, helps in Christians and weaknesses and intercedes for us. Amen. Say thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, thank for, the, Lord Holy for the, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Yes, Amen. God. The yes. Holy Spirit makes yes. believers new and gives them eternal life. Yes, Amen. God. It makes you new. It sharpens you up and gets you back on the road again. Amen. Say Amen. thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit sacrifice and enables believers to bear good fruit yes, in God. their lives. He's letting you know that it's time for you to straighten up some things, that you got to give away some things. You have to give up drinking. You have to give up smoking. Yes, you God. have to give up being around so and so yes. because they're starting to corrupt your mind. Yes. If you feel that they're corrupting your yes, mind, God. it's time for you to give it up. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. You you have to give up a certain movies. You have to give up certain yes, shows. God. You have to give up that music. Yes, you God. have to give up things. You have to count the cost to follow Christ. Yes. He said, pick up that cross and yes, follow me. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the Holy Jesus. Spirit, Hallelujah, will let you get will teach you how to bear good fruit. Yes, Amen. God. Go out and witnessing. Amen. Tell someone else about Christ. Yes, Amen. God. Tell someone else about your testimony. Amen. Tell somebody else. Yes. Even though y'all newly was, amen. Y'all cause that's still a testimony. Yes. We got married. You can do it too. Amen. Hallelujah. Stay together. Keep your minds good. Amen. Stay with God at all times. There's always things to tell somebody. I was in the hospital. Amen. And God, God, God healed me. Hallelujah. Tell somebody it was a time that I was homeless and God healed me. We thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit will encourage us to bear good fruit. Amen. Let someone else know. And when you let someone else know, it will bring someone else to the kingdom of God. Yes. Say thank you, Lord Jesus. You, Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank the Lord for this message today. Yes, God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We thank the Lord. He gave us um, instructions. We had a good lesson this morning uh, for Sunday school. We had a good Sunday school lesson this morning about following instructions. Yes. We trust our cell phones and we, we follow instructions. When we want to build something, what we do? We look at the instructions. When we find out something's wrong in a car, we look at the instructions. God has given us instructions right here. He's given us instructions. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All he asking for us to do is open it. Amen. Yes. I don't know why this is happening. He's going. It's got examples in here of th people that went through the same thing. Yes. That people that have, have fallen in life. Yes, God. And and got back up. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. The Lord has given us instructions. Yes, God. So we had a good lesson this morning about following instructions. What God has for us is amazing. We thank him for his comforter, the Holy Spirit. You ready to change your life? Thank you, Jesus. You ready to change your life? You're tired of going in circles and you feel that you're hitting the roadblock in life. You're wondering why things are not happening. You're wondering why this storm is above your head, this dark cloud. And you, you're wondering why when the sun is going to shine on you. The Lord is telling you to be patient. But are you ready to join the Jesus team? Joining the Jesus team, you, you cannot lose. Joining the Jesus team, he got your back. Once you join the Jesus team, you are no longer alone. It's hard to bring down a team. A team of believers. It's hard to bring down a team of 
are bold soldiers. It's hard to bring down a team of confident people. It's hard to bring down them. He asked you to join the Jesus team. If you don't want to join here, join at a Bible-based church that is preaching the gospel boldly. Preaching the gospel with love. Preaching the gospel with compassion. God has for you is for you. But all he's asking for you to come and have a relationship with him. He wants to be your everything. He wants to be your friend. He wants to be your everything. Come, my friend. If you want a relationship, you want prayer, come. Because it's not going to be easy. Prayer is the communication with God. Prayer is your everything. Prayer is the weapon bigger than a nuclear bomb. Prayer with the creator of the universe. Prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You ready to give yourself away to the Lord? Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Let's all put our hands in the air together. Let's all put our hands in the air. us watching this on, on media, you can inbox us if you want prayer. Inbox the team, amen, if you want prayer. Those who's watching this on the media, know that God is for you. When God is for you, who could be against you? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We know, amen. And then it's come, but it's always room for many. God bless you. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Touch everyone here today. Touch their minds, body, and soul. Place your anointing hands on everyone that's here, Lord. Our beautiful lesson, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your Holy Ghost. We thank you for the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. Allow that Holy Ghost to be a part of our lives, Lord Jesus. Encourage us. Embrace us. Make us strong soldiers, Lord Jesus. Make us bold soldiers, Lord Jesus. Make us confident, Lord Jesus. Turn us into disciples. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Say the Holy Ghost. We thank you. Touch us right now. Touch the jail cells, Lord Jesus. Witness to them right now, Lord Jesus. Touch the hospitals right now. Those in the hospital that are sick right now. Touch the doctors, Lord Jesus. Place your anointing hands on the doctors right now. Touch our moms, our papas, Lord Jesus. Touch right now, right now, right now. Touch the schools. Protect our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Place your anointing hands on the school system in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch the churches. Touch the pastors right now in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord. Place your anointing hands, Lord Jesus, on this world, Lord Jesus, touch it right now, Lord Jesus, those out there sick, Lord Jesus, touch them and heal them, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, those who are bad on depression, help them right now, in Jesus' name, those who are in jail, help them right now, those who are bad on alcoholism, help them right now, those who's bad on addictions, help them right now, touch them right now, in Jesus' mighty name, those who are out there that are sick, Lord, Lord, touch them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Those who have homeless, touch them right now in Jesus' name. Looking for a job, touch them financially in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Touch the marriages in Jesus' name. We give you praise and glory because you deserve it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You too. I want to hear. 
say a prayer for y'all. Come on up. Amen. All right, newlyweds, give me a hand, everybody. Hallelujah. Father, place your naughty hands on them right now. Hold them. Touch their minds, body, and soul, Lord Jesus. They're going to they're gonna have trouble. We all know that. But, Lord, we know that your word is our comforter, and it's going to help us grow. Touch their marriage, Lord Jesus. Touch them right now. They're going to have things coming against them, Lord. But we know that you're going to cover them and protect them, Lord Jesus. Protect them with the shield, Lord Jesus protect them with the shield we to protect them lord but we know that your holy spirit will show them how to do this thing, how to be married holy spirit will show him how to be a husband the holy spirit will show her how to be a wife touch them right now let nothing to divide them right now lord let nothing to divide them keep them together in true unity lord jesus communicating with true love in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah amen amen god bless God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. What God has for you is for you. Amen. No matter what's going to happen, God got you. No matter what happened, God got you. If someone say this and say that, say, God got me. No matter what. Say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we absent. One from another. This we ask in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We all dismiss. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. God bless you.